Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be going through a 3D extruded text and logo tutorial. Now I was on one of the wallpaper sites and I saw something very similar to this and I decided to go and try it in Photoshop Elements and this is what I came up with. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how I did that. If you scroll through our history all the way back you can see that I started with a blank just a blank file. Now if you don't have your history up you can go to window and what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to turn your color swatches on and I'd also like you to turn on your undo history if you ever need to go back. So that's how I started this. Then what I'd like you to do is go over and create the default colors by clicking on this little default foreground and background color or as you can see it is the D on your keyboard. Now I want to create a gradient that goes from kind of a grayish color to black. Then I want to select the gradient tool, which is also the G on your keyboard. And then you can select gray to black. Now this is going to be a very slight gradient. We're going to pick the linear gradient right here. And we're going to start from one corner and then go to the other corner. So as you can see, it's kind of a nice little gradient going on here. I actually want to have it up, go a little bit further off screen, so I'm going to pull this and just keep going a little bit more. Okay, this is a little bit. Make sure that you have the dither on, otherwise you get some banding that goes through here. Now that I have this gradient, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take my text tool, and when I click on it and click on my wallpaper, you will see that it created a new text layer right here. I'm going to pick something that's really simple. Right now I have Tunga, which is fine with me, and I've got 14 points selected. I'm just going to type in Think Different. Now it does not matter what color this is because we're going to simplify this and then put a gradient on it, so it really doesn't matter. When you're happy with what it looks like, check the green check right there or you can just hit enter. Now what we want to do is we want to go over here and we want to right click on this and we want to simplify our layer. It's going to simplify it and what it's going to do is it's just going to create that text on the layer but now you can't change the text. I'm going to go to my move tool. I'm going to kind of move this into the middle and then I'm going to go over and go to transform and I'm going to free transform this, which is also control T. If you hold down your control key or your command key, what you can do is you can distort this a little bit and we're going to kind of make it look 3D. So I'm going to kind of bend that back a little bit and then I'm going to bend this one back a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit smaller and make this one a little bit taller as if it is a little bit taller this and going to something smaller. I can even pull this one out just a little bit if we want. Okay, when I'm done I can check the green check or hit enter again. And this is kind of what we're looking at. Now that I have my text here in a simplified layer, I need to hold the control key down once more and click on this layer. And you can see that now it's selected all this text. Well, I want to go and create a gradient out of this. So I'm going to click my default colors and I'm going to switch the black to kind of a 40% gray maybe over here. Maybe a little bit more gray. Then I'm going to take my gradient and I'm going to drag across my letters and then let go. And you can see that it goes from dark to light. And if we don't like this, since this is going dark to light, if we want to make it opposite, I could start from over here, and then it would be dark over here and going to light right there. So now that I have this, I'm kind of happy with it, I can hit Control D, and what that'll do is that will get rid of my marching ants here. So it's looking pretty good so far. Now all I need to do is go over to my effects, and I need to choose the bevel from the drop-down box, 
and I'm just gonna select the simple bevel or simple emboss I should say out of the bevels so I'm gonna double click on that and it makes a simple but simple bevel and that looks awful that embossing looks awful so I'm gonna go over to the FX double click on this and then I'm gonna take this down from 42 pixels I'm gonna take it all the way down to maybe one pixel and then select OK now that I have this I have to stack a bunch of these on top of each other to make it look as if it is 3D now how we're gonna do that is we're gonna have to hold down and you're gonna have to be a little bit of a contortionist in this and hold down the control the alt and then the up arrow so if you're used to being a Windows user hitting control alt, and delete this time it is control alt and the up arrow key and we're just gonna hit that a few times after we select the move tool and there's our move tool so control alt and the up arrow and let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like Oh, what it's doing is it's creating multiple layers making a copy and then going up one so that looks really nice it's starting to look 3d there on my last one I made 13 copies of this on the last one I'm gonna right click on here and I'm gonna clear my layer style I click on the hand you can see it without that little dotted box you can see wow that looks really great it looks like a 3d image well, let's go ahead and try this again underneath this I have the Apple logo so let's go ahead and try this again drag this Apple logo and drag it over here Woo! that's kinda big but that's okay I'm gonna make this and resize it a little bit here okay now I don't want this the same color here so I need to hold down the control key and click on that layer and then it's going to select the apple and then what I need to do is I need to go and do the gradient again with the apple and I'm going to go ahead and start the same way start over here maybe and drop over there so we have the white starting here down to the gray hold down control D and the marching ants go away now we do have to distort this a little bit and that's another control key control T and what we need to do is hold down the control key and then we need to skew this just a little bit and then we need to skew this down a little bit as well over there maybe bring this over some when I'm happy hit the enter or check the green checkbox okay so we're gonna do the same thing again if you can remember we just went over here to the simple emboss double click that and then double click the FX because that's too much of an emboss and we took this down to one pixel there we go and selected OK now do you remember what we did next we held down the control alt and no not the delete key we went and did the control alt and the up arrow key course we have to select our move tool first control alt up arrow and you can see that there it goes it is building up some extrusion there and if we want to see what this looks like we can hit the little hand on our toolbar and there we go 3d extruded text now all we have to do on the very final one right here is right click on that and clear our layer style and there we are we're done we have the gradient in the background and we have this 3d extruded text with 3d extruded logo I'll go ahead and type some text instructions and put those in the right hand side where you watch the video now if you haven't done so already please subscribe to digital goulash and we will catch you around